Today is September 11, 2018, and you may be going through your normal routine. But for Ethiopians, they have just entered the year 2011 as they celebrate their new year. As part of celebrations, the army of Ethiopian troops and their Eritrean counterparts have been marking the day at their common border. The leaders of both countries on Tuesday reopened crossing points on their shared border for the first time in 20 years after two decades of hostilities between the two countries. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and Eritrean President Ayaz Afwaki opened the frontier at Bure, a region that witnessed some of the fiercest fighting in the late 1990s, Reuters news agency reports. This is to enhance trading activities for both countries after the two reconciled early this year. The Horn of Africa nation follows a calendar similar to the ancient Julian calendar, which started disappearing from the West in the 16th century. The world has adopted the Gregorian calendar, a calendar constituting 365 days in a year and 366 days in a leap year. However, Ethiopia uses the Coptic calendar, which puts it years behind the rest of the world. The difference in year numbering is because the Ethiopian Orthodox Church disagrees with the Roman Catholic Church about when Christ was born. Thus, in contrast to the Gregorian calendar, which is factored in the calculation of the year in which Jesus was born, the Ethiopian Church adopted a calendar tied to the calculation of the Annunciation Jesus' conception, not birth arrived at by Egyptian monk historian Anianus of Alexandria. Before this, Ethiopian Orthodox Duahedo Church on Monday recognized Prime Minister Ahmed and First Lady Zenash Tayaku with a special award for bringing peace and reconciliation to Ethiopia, Eritrea and the region. As Ahmed and the Afwaki celebrate Ethiopian New Year together at the border with their troops, large celebrations are also being held across the country to mark the day.